Okay, uh, as some of you may or may not know, I've only been carving fish for about a year and a half or so. I've done uh, seven fish. How many birds about took my head off? <laughs> uh, but I've, I've gotten seven fish done and I really wasn't interested in selling anything at first. And uh, as a matter of fact, I told a lot of people that, that, that was asking me, are they for sale? And uh, especially like on my Facebook page and uh, on my TikTok channel, I got a lot of, of people asking that question. Um, but I've, I've decided, decided to start selling them and I'm getting ready to take some now uh, over to a friend of mine that has a, that's going to be purchasing the first ones that I've sold. And that's kind of exciting for me. Uh, not only that it's my first work that I'm sold or that I'm selling, but that it's a good friend of mine that I've known for 40 years that's, that's buying them. So uh, he's excited about it and I'm excited about it as well. So um, I'm going to show you that video here in a minute of that, that exchange. And... Um, but if you got any questions about it, if, if you got interest in, in purchasing one, um, right now, I, the only thing I've got for sale right now is going to be a smallmouth bass or the smallmouth and the bluegill. Um, and I'm working on the walleye now. Uh, but I am willing to talk about doing uh, commission work if you, if you're in, really interested in one. So you can email me at, uh, Danny Harris arts at gmail.com and uh, we can talk about it. But anyway, here's this video, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Danny, how are you? Good. Good. Guys, I'm here with my good friend Brad Fryer here. We have uh, known each other for 40 years. Yes. Used to work together at Exxon years ago. When I first started carving these, Brad saw, I did the rainbow trout, and Brad saw the rainbow, and he called me and said, hey, I want that. At the time, I wasn't selling them. Uh, but I said, but I'll give you first dibs when we do. And uh, so when I decided to sell it, I called him and I already had the, uh, the brown trout done. And I had just come back from uh, the World Taxidermy Fish Carving Championship uh, with this. And uh, I said, you still want the brown or the rainbow? And he said, yeah, I want the brown and the crappie. <laughs> so, and this one actually took second Place this one the, got I got second place in the um, in the con in the competition. Um, now that's it's the, world championship, but this is the novice division. The novice I'm division. the little guy. Yeah, yeah, no, so, not based on what I'm seeing yeah, here. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the next time I enter is going to be in a I'll, I'll, well, I have to step up a little more. Right. One, so. Right. Gosh, and I, I know that I was watching you on your Facebook page, uh, YouTube, I think it was, as you went through and carving these, and some of the attention to detail. Being a trout fisherman, the reason I fell in love, well, I fell in love with the rainbow for the coloring on it, but the brown, when I actually saw the uh, vegetation here flowing downstream and knowing the trout always swims swim upstream, or at least they will hold in Eddie's face and upstream, the attention to detail just grabbed me on this one. So. That was a no-brainer, and then of course the uh, the crappie striking the minnow here was just it's a, I, I just I want to know who wound up at the first place one. I want that one too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one's going to um, Carlton Wing. Oh, really? The, the guy that did the TV show with me. He has the production company that does the uh, he does a TV show called uh, Live Bait. It's a national deal. It's a nationwide deal. Okay. And uh, last year he called me. And, uh, and I met him through the Capitol. I mean, he's one of the representatives. Okay. And uh, last year he called me and said, hey, would you be interested in doing a TV spot with me on my show? And I said, yeah. All I had carved at the time was a crappie. That the first crappie I'd done. Right. Right. I and, remember uh, that. So that was, in, I think that was around January. And he said, um, uh, we won't film, we won't probably won't tape the segment until uh, August and then the show would air in October. So I got busy and I carved the rainbow, the brown, and a large mouth, and the bluegill. And so I had all those done by the time August rolled around. Wow. And so I we're about to do another one. Um, he wants to do a follow-up for the competition. Oh, nice. So, but we're going out to do, um, 
he may do it next week, it may be two weeks from now. Uh, he's going to be out of town. But he wants to video, he wants to do a fishing show. Oh, really? So we're going to go fishing and talk while we talk about it. So Outstanding. That's, that's be, and that'll probably be aired in October also. So. I think I mentioned to you, and I found an old fence post on our property. It's cedar. Yeah. This thing looks to be, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 years old. It's got moss on it. I still want you to do a duck that blends from the old natural to the, to, to to the, new, the, yep. the yes the the body of the duck and the head being finished so i want to get that to you and as you have time to, to fit that in I have you like got that. It, is it still at your farm no I, it, it, it actually it made it to my house okay so it'll be easy to get it to you this time okay all right great well, let me let me know when you get over and we'll i got that one piece that you gave me you're right but uh i just had not anything with it yet right <laughs> So, well, Danny, man, I, I, we love the work, and the, the, the pictures did not do it justice. Just standing here and looking at it, I could not be more proud to uh, to have these and to put them there in the house. And I look forward to uh, looking at what you do in the future and, yeah. and staying in touch with you and, and, and keeping up with this stuff. Well, so I appreciate thank, it. Thank you very thank much. You. I love this stuff. It's, it's, it's neat that you're, I mean, I like to love it that somebody that I know that's going to end up with them and, and uh, we've We've already got spots cleared out in the, uh, in the library and upstairs in the game room for it. We're yeah. excited to get them placed. Well, so. I appreciate it, bud. Hey, thank you very Thanks. much.